Hello and welcome everyone to another episode of Advanced React WordPress Theme Development with Next.js and GraphQL. In this video we're going to learn about how to create the footer and fetch all of the menu items, social icons and widgets from WordPress for the footer. Okay. So I found this website called Tailwind Grids. What this does is basically easily allow you to change and update the number of grids you want at different screen sizes. So I have gone and you can also increase or decrease the number of items you want for the grid and it automatically generates those classes for you as you can see. So if I increase or decrease, notice that you know the classes are getting changed. So since I want the three items only, so I've just gone ahead and uh, added that and I'm going to copy this and I'll go head over to my footer, which is inside layout, footer and index.js. I'll remove this footer text, use a round bracket and just paste it here. And for now, I'll just say lorem ipsum or just lorem for now. It's fine. I think just want to see it's working fine. Uh, if I go head over over here, you can see that I've got all of that. If I go back and check, you can see that it's responsive as well, which is great. I'm also going to wrap this whole thing inside of a container and I'll name it as footer. Let's do that. And then I need to give some padding. So let me do that. Let me take a look at what is it? What is the header adjusted on? And similarly, I can put it for the footer as well. So there is some gap here so i'm just going to use that class name i don't want to justify between so i'll get rid of that i don't want item center i don't want flex wrap and i think i should be okay with the background and there's a padding which is brilliant awesome great so I've got the footer um, the same width and I've got the same padding as well, which is great. And I don't think I need the flex. So I'll get rid of that for sure. And there you go. So I've got three columns and I basically want to insert uh, my widget one and widget two inside of the first two columns. And for the third column, I can just have the menus. So let's take a look. What do we have here? So if you go to footer, uh, we have the sidebar one and we have sidebar two, correct? Of course, we don't have anything inside of the sidebar two currently. Uh, so we'll leave that for now, but we will just add our code for that. So what we'll do is we'll say div and then because this is going to render an HTML, I'll use dangerously set in an HTML. Inside of that, I'm going to have HTML and then I'll say footer and then widget one. So if you go back and check, it's actually called the sidebar one. So put sidebar one and see what happens. Okay, perfect. So you've got all of this. Okay, content over here. You can put whatever content you want. It's up to you, but just to let you know you've got the content. And of course, the let's give it a class name of text white because I want my text to be white, which is great. The next thing we should do is also sanitize it. So we have some package available and the package is called a DOM purify. Okay. So if you go to DOM purify, you can see that it's a DOM only super fast uber tolerant XSS sanitizer for HTML, MathML and SVG. Okay. So I'm going to install that for security. So I'll head over here. I'll say yarn add and then DOM purify DOM purify. Let me zoom it in for you. Okay, so it's adding that in the meanwhile, I'll add a function. So I already created one earlier. So I'm just going to use that. So I'll go over to the source and inside source, I'll create a directory called utils. 
So I'll create a file called miscellaneous. I, I believe that's the spelling. Let me just check. Okay, so that's the file. I'm going to create that and I'm going to add that function and I'm going to also import from DOM purify. Perfect. Okay, so if you are inside of the browser, uh, just go ahead and use this function. And there's a method available called sanitize. So if you test it, you can see that you have this uh, sanitize function available that allows you to sanitize the HTML, right? So we created our own sanitize function so we can add a little bit of test here because DOM will not be available server side. Hence, we need to check if we are client side using the process.browser. Process.browser will be true in case if we are client side. And if we are, then we are going to just use the DOM purify .sanitize method and pass our con content inside of it so we get actually get the uh, sanitized content. Okay. Uh, so now we can use this inside of the dangerously set uh, inner HTML. So I'm going to go over here and just call my sanitize function. There you go. And then just put my content inside of it. Okay. Same thing we're going to do for this one as well. So let me see if I can give the parent as text white. Let me see that. So that I don't have to give each of these as. Okay. Let's try it out. Okay. This will be sidebar two. And let me just run it again. So I'll say npm run dev. Okay, start it serving, go back, refresh, and that still works, which is great. Perfect. Okay, so we've got the two sidebars. And if you add anything, let's say from the back end under that sidebar, so if you go to widgets, if you go to widgets and footer two, this is where you can add. So I'll add a custom widget. Uh, just to let you know, if you're adding any of these uh, links, make sure these links relate to the front end URL, not the back end URL. Okay, so, so just be careful on that. So I can name this as sidebar2. Hello, sidebar2. Save it. And then if I go back and check, refresh. There you go, you've got the sidebar2. Okay, awesome, great. The third column, we basically want that it should contain the menus. So we already have the menus available. We just need to use the list items to list down the menus. Okay. So in the third column, uh, in fact, let me just name these as widget one, widget two, and this is going to be menus. But uh, menus and just to let you know I'm not really focusing on the design right now I just want to build the concept for you how these things are done and later on uh, you know you get you can actually send a PR if you want to improve the design it's an open source project and you can definitely contribute to it okay so let's go with the footer menu so what do we have un under the footer menu let me get rid of this console over here this is done and I'm going to close this as well close this one and inside a footer, I just want to see what am I getting inside of the footer. In fact, you can not only just check here, but you can also check in the GraphQL because under the footer, I already have all of that information. It's actually the footer menus that we're looking for. So we have edges, node, and then we all have got all of these menus. So all we want to do is we'll go over here and we'll create a UL. In fact, we will first check if the footer menu Okay, we already check if footer menu exists. We can also check uh, that if it's an array or not. So I can do is array. There's also a function available in JavaScript called the array dot is array. But uh, since I have the load, since I have the load dash available at my disposal, I'll just use that. And then I'm just going to check if it's an array or not. Okay, and then I just, all I have to do is just loop through it. So if that's the case, then in fact, we don't need to check this information here. We'll have to check it down at the bottom, right? Because there could be possibility that the widgets are available, but not the 
uh, photo menu so it's fine so all I have to do now is just come over here paste it if that's the case then do something otherwise return null and this will now be if not is empty and if it's an array then go ahead and use this okay and inside of this we will loop through it so we'll say footer menus dot edges okay so we will have the footer menus dot map footer menu and this will just be the list items like so and also needs to have a key so footer menu dot so what should be the key as let me take a look we have got the ID available let's use that and then inside of this we also need a link right so what we'll do is inside of this I will open a link tag and this will be a the HRF will move to the link tag we also need to import link from next import link from next link okay great and then finally over here inside of the HRF I'll just say footer menu so this will be node.id so this will be node.id and then node.label footer menu dot node dot label and then the link will be footer menu dot node dot you can say path okay let's take a look awesome great so you can see now that we've got about stories inspiration and you know these are of all of the links if you take a look at down at the bottom corner you will notice that we have got all of these links available which is great of course it wouldn't work right now because we haven't generated these pages but at least we got what we need and we can very well go ahead and work further on that okay so now we've got the menus the we've got the widgets as well let's go ahead and add the copyright text so all I'm going to do now is I'll go down over here I'll say copy right text and over here I'm going to say div and this will be footer dot copy okay let me take a look as to what is the name so that's going to be copyright text okay what we're also going to do is in case if this text is available great if it isn't then so it'll be at Coded to Academy 2020 okay and also say footer dot copyright let's take a look perfect and of course it has to be white color so oops class name text white there you go perfect you can give it a different color also if you want but I'm just leaving it as it is and let me give it a margin top of let's say 8 there you go perfect well the last thing we need is basically our social icons and I think this should actually be inside of the grid right so we need a two column grid so what I'm gonna do is I'll go to that tailwind CSS grid website again so this will be tailwind grid generator and this time I'll say I need two items and I need some gap between them and I would want them to be this much okay so the next thing we want to do is add social icons over here so this should actually be in 
two columns. So I'm just going to paste my code for the two columns like so. And then I'm going to move my copyright text inside of this. So I will say, just copy this whole stuff. Cut it. And then put it inside here like so. So it goes here and of course I have to give it text white. And then I can have the margin top as well. I think padding two is not required. Margin top eight. Yep, perfect. Next thing I want to do is inside of this, I want to go ahead and get all of the social icons. So how do we do that? Let's take a look. 